You already know, man, all things sports and entertainment. We can completely disagree, but let's get this conversation started. So, Chicago Bears, right? We drafted uh, Caleb Williams, the first overall pick. Jaden Daniels came out with the second overall pick to Washington. Washington Commanders. Now, some people were calling Caleb Williams a bust in the beginning of the season, even though this is rookie year. And it's, you know, it takes a lot of times people time to adjust. But before the draft, there were reports coming out that the, our, the Bears, we might draft Jaden Dan Daniels, right? Well, you've been hearing great things. You know, uh, Washington has been on the roll. And this is what reports have come out as saying, quote, Jaden Daniels reportedly arrives to the commander's facilities at 4 a.m. every day. Daniels report reportedly has his lift and film study done before any teammates even get to the facility. Many NFL scouts reportedly believe Daniels could win the MVP this season, uh, basically depending on how the season go. So let me be honest, right? Because we went through this before. This is when I stopped watching uh, the Bears. I'm sorry. I'm not one of them people. I'm not going to pay all my hard earned money to watch us lose. And if they don't care about winning, why should, why should I or any of y'all, right? But when we drafted Mitchell Trubisky, Trubisky I was done. I, I said, I said if he's a scrub, it's over. Remember, we moved up one slot and gave up all them picks. And we could have got a Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. Could y'all imagine if Patrick Mahomes played for the Bears and won three Super Bowls? Just imagine. But anyway, I digress. So, people, man, a lot of people... You know, they, they, they call Kayla Williams a bust and, and, you know, do we make the wrong decision? I'm going to be honest. I don't, we didn't make the wrong decision. You know, y'all can talk about his nails and, you know, uh, on uh, hard knocks. I don't get nervous and all of that other stuff. But ultimately, Kayla Williams, man, he's up there too, man. He can spin that ball, man. My only critique with Kayla Williams, he hold that ball just a tad too long. I say the same thing about Shador Sanders when he comes to the league. You cannot hold the ball constantly like this is college man you're gonna end up getting hurt out there and i remember one play when he played his, uh against carolina because he uh, had 302 yards passing he was holding it he was holding it then he got sacked and i was like oh get up get up get up but oh my bad 304 yards but he eventually got up but you know you you can't you can't hold the ball for that long but that long but overall i do think that either one of the players you couldn't have been wrong with 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 either player and let me say this too Jaden Daniels he a little bit older than Caleb Williams Jaden Daniels will be 24 in December and let me see when we can when we how old is Caleb Williams I think he's 22 or 21 one second y'all he is okay damn okay I guess all right well uh Caleb Williams he will be 23 in November the reason why I pause this real quick is because normally you would when you come out your junior year you're 21 but I don't know maybe he was 18 to begin his senior year but um overall we definitely made made the best choice um again you can disagree with a lot of things about Caleb Williams but when he out there man he can spin it he can spin it and we got DJ Moore we got DeAndre Swift a former UGA running back so we in there man and I do think that we gonna definitely have can make it to the playoffs I just think that you know a lot of times for the Bears and other people um they say Chicago is a place where quarterbacks go to, to become extinct and I just think that with Caleb, man, we got to give him some time. This only, he only, what, five games in? And y'all see what he did against Carolina. Even though Carolina was a bad team, you still got to see his progress. And I'm telling you, when he get it, he going to be able to get it. And if Caleb Williams can win, let's just say hypothetically, four, three, four Super Bowls, he'll be bigger in Chicago than Michael Jordan. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. I don't think we made a mistake. If y'all do, Bears fans, please tell us why, or even Bears haters, tell us why we made a mistake. Let me know below.